Hello, my name is Missy Swenson. I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota. I've been with Pulse Management for about three and a half years. It all started when my daughter Amy was scouted at Justin Bieber at a Justin Bieber concert in Des Moines, Iowa. Um, she was asked to go to an open meeting the next day. It wasn't going to work out for our schedule, so we went back up to Minneapolis and just thought, you know, if it's meant to be, it'll happen. Plus, we were a little bit skeptical about the whole thing. I mean, really modeling in New York City and Paris and everything else. She was my 13-year-old daughter. So I just, we just kind of blew it off, I have to say. But then two months later, we got a call saying Stacy was going to be back. And we said, you know what, Amy, why not? Let's just go. So we did. And it was great, actually. It was so fun listening to Stacy. He talked about the industry, talked about the ups and downs, the bad, the good, um, how hard it is, and everything else. He dwindled it down from, I don't know, 60 kids or something down to five, and Amy was one of the five. He just saw potential in her and and just wanted to go and wanted to move on to the next steps, and um, we were all for it. I used to travel a lot, so I thought, wow, this could be really cool. We could do this, and um, sure enough, that next spring, we ended up signed with an agency in New York, and they flew both of us out there. We went... Um, on two photo shoots, we stayed in model housing, and um, it was just an amazing experience. Just an amazing experience, and um, Stacy was just there through us through throughout the whole experience. He was there; his assistant was there um, for us if we had any questions. Um, the agency took care of us. When we got back from New York, um, we ended up not really doing anything for about a year and a half and we heard from Stacy via email um, a few times in that year and a half and we had done a couple go-to meetings um, but he was I just knew he was still working Amy and still working New York still working all the other connections that he has I felt confident about that and I was just a little bit a little bit thinking um, you know, anxious about wanting to do it, but yet I felt confident knowing that Stacy is gonna is gonna push her when the time is right, anyway. And um, and then in the winter of last year, we got a call from his assistant asking if she was interested in going to Asia. And so we had a FaceTime meeting with Stacy after we said yes, yes, we're definitely ready to go to Asia. And um, so we had a FaceTime meeting with um, Stacy. And he had just told Amy what she needs to do to get ready. And we started the talks and we ended up getting signed with an agency in um, Hong Kong. And um, they were so good to her. We ended up, she ended up leaving on May 27th. And um, her contract actually ended up getting extended for two extra months. Um, she ended up coming back just this October 4th and she um, did a lot of work. Amy gained so much experience when she was in Hong Kong. She did um, really all of it. She did editorial, she did live live um, modeling, She, um, which included Vogue Fashion Night Out. She was one of those models, which was so cool. Um, she did uh, fashion shows, which she absolutely loved. While I was, Amy was in Hong Kong, Stacy called me and asked me if I would be interested in doing um, a scouting event at Taylor Swift, for Taylor Swift at one of the big venues here. And I said, absolutely yes. I have thought about doing it quite a bit, but just haven't taken the time. And now I am so glad that he asked me to join her for those two days. There were two days of scouting and it was great. I absolutely, absolutely loved it. Um, I have been scouting ever since. I don't go anywhere without scouting, actually. The good thing is I have kids in high school, so it's there's a lot of girls around for me to check out. And um, I'm at the Mall of America right now because this is where I am most Saturdays or Sundays. Um, but we, um, I usually try to come here at least an hour to a day, a, a weekend, and um, see what's out here. And 
today we've already scouted two amazing girls, so I'm super excited. Um, when I say we, I actually bring Amy with me a lot of times. We go and hang out together and, and she's there with me. But um, it just was an easy decision for me to make to want to try to start scouting because of who Stacy is as a person. He is, I try to explain this to my moms when they call and with the, call me with all the questions, all the skeptical questions, all this. And, you know, I said, well, wait till you meet Stacy. You'll just, you'll understand once you meet Stacy. And um, that we'll talk afterwards and they'll say, what is it about him? And what is it? Why? I mean, he's just goofy. He talks a lot. And, you know, I said, but you know what? And I, but then we always come to the conclusion of, you know what? He's honest. He's real. He's true. And he is a good guy. You can just tell by meeting him, even on a silly FaceTime. And one of my girls actually just got back from the, one of our Hollywood Hills shoots. And um, we just actually met for for dinner the other night. And we still talk about how Stacy just is, um, he really cares. He really, really cares. And um, that's what I feel about Stacy. I I know he's a, I know he's great. His wife is amazing, um, and the people that he surrounds him with are amazing. And I am privileged to be one of them. I'm very thankful for my opportunity that I have with the scouting business. Um, I have fun with it. I feel like I'm enriching other girls' lives like he's enriched mine, and I I really appreciate it. And that's my story about Stacy. Thank you.